This is one of those videos you're going to want to pay attention to, not just with your ears, but eyes, and watch as Tesla's most epic update, FSD V13, shows off what it can do. This is a massive moment for the company. The most consequential update by miles in the pursuit of autonomy. We're so close now. I'm going to do my best to shut the hell up and just let the clips speak for themselves, each pretty short, illustrating some of the abilities. Now keep in mind, this software is operating in the United States, not a specific pocket, it's not geofence. These are people with the latest FSD update V13, testing out what it can do. Obviously not perfect yet, but man, we're close. Clip one. Awesome, all right, I'll just edit our, oh. What? Oh, okay. What, what, what? Oh, what the? What? <laughs> okay, I can say I did not expect okay. that. It picked a great parking spot too. Like, cause it's right there. Uh, I'm kind of speechless. And it backed in. It's going to put it in park here. <laughs> this is so cool. Holy crap. Wow. Um, all right. I didn't expect that. So the destination was GameStop. Perfect spot. Reverse parks a lot better than most of you. Next clip. FSD 13 avoids an object on the road. Paying better attention than a lot of people would. This clip with the caption, the more you watch this clip, the more impressive it is. FSD 13 is insane. Bravo Tesla. So let's set the scene here. The vehicle currently turning a corner needs to get across a lane so that it can turn left at the intersection. Has very little space and time to pull this off. And being too cautious and slow would cause a traffic jam and or an accident. Needs to have some confidence and actually make a decision and get it done. And at this point in time, I'd just like to remind everybody that autonomy is obviously decades away, so uh, please don't share this with your friends. I'm still buying Tesla stock, so uh, it's going to be a long time before the Tesla Robotaxi is awakened, therefore you can wait, please. Thank you. Nothing to see here. Plus, Cruz and Waymo can do this anywhere in the US as well, right? In vehicles that don't have LiDAR and... Yeah, everything's fine. Nothing to see here. And this FSD 13 backing itself into a supercharger stall. Again, pretty short clip. Each time you watch one of these, trolling aside, just think about the implications for autonomy. Will Tesla's CyberCap and their existing Model 3s and Ys that opt into the network, will they need to do these kind of tasks themselves? What are the missing capabilities before Robotaxis can start operating somewhere? Now, I just had to interrupt there as I'm watching this clip. You guys may have noticed, maybe not. Let's just rewind a little bit. Can you see the vehicle has detected a pedestrian walking there? I can't see them. Now, there's two possibilities here. The vehicle is hallucinating or, oh, no, there you go. I saw the fucker. Or it can see better than I do. Look at that. There's a person there. There's a pedestrian. You can see them just in this next frame walking across that little source of light. Now, obviously, if you slow things down, you can spot stuff, but isn't it amazing? The Tesla spotted a pedestrian that I had not seen. It is nighttime, it's dark, I totally understand why. Clearly, it sees a lot better than I do, at the very least. Be honest, how many of you had spotted the pedestrian before we pointed him out? So I'm going to take another quick break. I'm sure many of you are now focused on the visualization below. I want to explain what's going on here. The vehicle is visualizing approximately what it sees or thinks it sees in the world. Now you might think, well, hang on, why are some cars sort of jittering in and out? Or why did that pedestrian become one and then two? And blah, blah, blah? That's exact, exactly the same thing our brains do. We think we have a perfect picture of the world. We see everything, we recognize stuff. It's totally consistent. Wrong. 
let's say that you're the person driving the vehicle here. At the corner of your eye, you think, oh, shit, there's a pedestrian. Wait, hang on. Oh, there's two people. Oh, shit, I didn't. You know, that's the same kind of thing that we're seeing happen here now. So it's okay that there's some inconsistencies. The vehicle's not exactly sure. Is there a car here, here? I can't really talk. Oh, yeah, there is. The highest level of confidence. Bam. Now you've got a solid object there. So it's important to understand. We've got an insight into the brain of the vehicle, which operates much like our own brain. Occasionally, things will pop in or out because the vehicle's just recognized there is something there or there isn't, as opposed to being a little uncertain. Amazing stuff. No, vision only. The proximity detection there. Now, importantly, remember from Tesla's Wii Robot Autonomy event, the wireless charging mounted in a space that will fit in a parking space. We've just seen how a Tesla Cybercab will be able to charge itself completely autonomously with no human or robot involved. Back itself in over one of the wireless chargers at a charging station. Done. But don't worry, robot taxis are definitely decades away. There's nothing to see here. Whole Mars with a caption here, FSD 13.2 has some amazing new moves. Okay, we got a parked car in this yeah, lane. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, perfect. Yeah, just like a human. Or even better than a human, maybe. Oh, back into the lane. Yeah, right it's got to make a right turn. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Sharp right turn. Very good. Very nice. It's a tight curved road with cars parked. Smooth. This clip is hilarious. Tried my best to get FSD 13 stuck. It beat me, Austin Powers style. I am speechless. Now, I'm sure many of you get the reference to Austin Powers. If not, <laughs> this is what he's referring to. Oh God, I don't know why, but it gets me every time. So let's see how FSD 13 handles being sent down a dead end street. Handled like a boss. So a few reactions here from Holmar's first, holy fuck, FSD 13.2 is so good. It drove me to pick up my cousins and then took us all to Universal Studios into the parking lot. Didn't touch the steering wheel once from AI driver. I told you all FSD 12.5 was smoother than the majority of Ubers I've been in. FSD 13.2 is smoother than any Uber ride I've ever been in by far. When people ride in Robotaxi, they won't want a human driver anymore, guaranteed. Tesla owners, Silicon Valley, FSD 13 is insane. Dirty Tesla posted, first drive with 13.2 was zero intervention. FSD unparked itself in my garage, started driving, pulled into this parking space and put itself into park. This is a monumental improvement, a massive update. We are so close. Let's read the release notes from Ashok Elaswame on autopilot slash AI at Tesla. FSD supervised version 13 upgrades every part of the end-to-end -end driving network, including 
36 hertz full resolution AI4 video inputs. By the way, this might get a little bit nerdy. I'll try and translate a little bit, but I'm not going to go too deep here. They're just talking about frames per second here, at least presumably. Native AI4 inputs and neural network architectures. 4.2 times data scaling, 5 times training compute scaling, enabled by the Cortex cluster. So this is important. In short, Tesla has a fuckload more training compute now, and they're obviously putting it to good use. Reduced photon to control latency by two times. This would, I guess, be reaction times. Speed profiles on both city streets and highways. Start FSD supervised from park with the touch of a button. Integrated unpark, reverse, and park capabilities. Improved reward prediction for collision avoidance. Improved camera cleaning. Redesigned controller for smoother, more accurate tracking. Dynamic routing around road closures, which displays them along an affected route when they are detected by the fleet. Now, this is the massive standout line. Of course, we already knew this was coming, Tesla's told us, but it's now been implemented. I'm going to say this again. If you're in a Tesla vehicle, or if, if it's on its own driving around, and it discovers there's a road closure, road work something, right? Because it has GPS, it knows where it is. It can send that information back to the fleet. And now the entire fleet of Tesla vehicles is aware that there's a road closure and can reroute to avoid finding themselves in the same situation. This is going to be absolutely incredible. There'll be some interesting situations, I think, where people are in a Tesla Robotaxi and they'll be like, wait, what the fuck? Why is it going this way? I don't understand. It's quicker to go here. Having not even realized that the vehicle knew that there was a road closure somewhere ahead and had to, you know what I mean? And now upcoming improvements. So to be clear, what we're seeing now, 13.2 does not include these. Three times model size scaling, three times model context length scaling. Audio inputs for better handling of emergency vehicles, e.g. you hear the sirens of an ambulance, fire truck, etc. The vehicle's going to listen as well as see. Improve reward predictions for navigation. Improvements to false braking and slower driving in parking lots. This next line really smells like robotaxi. Support for destination options, including pulling over, parking in a spot, driveway or garage. So you can choose, right? You want to get to your destination? Do you want it to pull over? Do you want it to park? Do you want to just let you out right in front? Look, that kind of stuff, right? Do you want it to park in a driveway or in a garage? Efficient representation of maps and navigation inputs and improved handling of camera occlusions, aka a blockage, something stopping the camera seeing, or at least partially stopping it from seeing. The car version of, us. Oh, shit, I got something in my eye. I think Hole Mars really summed it up well. Holy fuck, FSD 13x2 is so good. As much as I like to troll you guys, it's obvious Tesla's just about to unleash their fleet of robotaxis with an over-the-air software update. We've seen parking lots, in and out, people reporting intervention-free drives, smoother than human drivers, avoiding objects on the road, making complicated, difficult decisions with very little room for error. Without the use of LiDAR, without being geofenced, and upcoming improvements include a tripling of the model size and context length scaling. This is nerdy stuff, but in short, it's going to get a fuckload better, much quicker than most people expect. It's not a coincidence that Tesla held their Wii Robot Autonomy event recently. It's not a coincidence they told us that they're going to begin production of their Cybercab ASA fucking P and expect volume, not initial, volume production in 26. And it's also not a coincidence that most of the dimwits on Wall Street and money managers have no idea what the fuck's around the corner or why what Tesla is doing is so distinct and untouchable relative to others supposedly also pursuing autonomy. This disruption is going to hit like a fucking tidal wave that very few investors saw coming. Remember, Tesla already has millions of vehicles on roads. With the press of a button and over-the-air software update, once they have regulatory approval, it's game fucking on. Don't say I didn't warn you. Want more content? Early access, a bunch of perks, click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, it has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs. This is what viewers of the channel had to say after trying AG1. I feel like I have a lot more energy since I started on AG1. Just got my AG1 in the mail, legit feeling the effects after day three. Three months ago, I started AG1 and have been enjoying the evenness of alertness and energy that lasts the day. I just started the wife on it too. Are you convinced yet? I mean, hey, it's worth trying, right? Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR or I can keep going. This viewer after about a month on AG1, definitely a lack of fatigue in the afternoon. Pleasant side effect is that my coffee intake has imploded and is almost down to zero. One more, yeah, why not? 
I honestly feel younger and will be continuing to use AG1. This stuff really is crazy good. I didn't think it would be, but this stuff is awesome. It really is what everyone is saying. One more, don't mind if I do. I've just received my third month supply. I've drank it every day. I have so much energy throughout most of the day. I'm productive, started a new business, started socializing, refurbished a boat. It's no coincidence. Thank you for your persistence, your integrity, and your insights. Now look, these are not my words. These are not my testimonials. This is what you guys and girls are saying. Maybe it's 100% placebo effect. But even if that's the case, I think it's money well spent. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.